Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Today, I'm going to ask the cards, who is Marcus Anderson? And what role does he have to play in all of this? I think we know the backstory. Um, Megan met him when she was working in Toronto. He's a Canadian from um, uh, Ontario. He said he has grown up in Ontario. Whether it was actually Toronto or not, I don't know. There's many little towns and cities around there. Um, so she met him when she was working on suits in Toronto. And ever since then, they've been fast friends. Some say lovers. Some say that's the love of, of her life. Some say Marcus doesn't swing that way. Uh, they're just really good friends. Did he introduce her and Harry together via or via, however you say it in your country, Soho House? Is he's very high up in Soho House. There's rumors that he's even a part owner. Um, there's so much mystery around him. Um, I'm going to do a reading. Who is Marcus Anderson and how does he play into all of this? Yesterday when I did a reading on um, their Megan and Harry's anniversary, uh, there showed up a friend and a courtship on it. And that kind of reminded me of Marcus Anderson. And then we got the card with the lovers and it's somebody she works with. And so I know that's not Marcus Anderson, that's the bodyguard, allegedly and for entertainment purposes only. This is a great time for me to mention my disclaimer. This is a tarot card reading for fun and entertainment, a little bit of gossip. Um, please do your own research and form your own opinions. My full disclaimer is down below. With that out of the way, let's get started. Who is Marcus Anderson and what does he have to do with all of this? I mean, she drags him out, um, you know, for photo ops or whatever. And we saw the last photo op with that re ridiculous hiking out. But listen, I live near the mountains. We lived in the mountains. I didn't, I've never seen anybody dress that ridiculous going hiking. That wasn't hiking. That wasn't hiking. That was like, how high am I? Not in the mountains, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> honestly. Honest to God. Um, so anyways, who is Marcus Anderson and uh, why is he always around and why won't he go away? And there's other rumors and I'll see where the cards take me if I address them about um, because there's rumors that Marcus and uh, it kind of swings the other way. And so is Marcus and Harry involved. There was that rumor for a while. Um, I don't know if I'll address that. Let's just see where the cards take us. So first of all, I'm using the Pulp Fiction because, you know, truth is stranger with, than fiction when it comes to Meghan Markle and uh, what she tries to uh, imply or, you know, she thinks she's so smart. Uh, evil genius, maybe. But I don't think she's smart. Okay, so who is Marcus Anderson and what does he have to do with Meghan and Harry and why is he always around? What's up with him? What do we got here? Ooh, is he the knight? Is he her knight in shining armor? But maybe, yeah, it's a love relationship, baby. But he's not interested. He's the he's the knight. He's the knight of cups, and he's not a knight in shining. He's actually leaving. Uh, but uh, it's a love relationship, absolutely. There's love there. There's absolutely love there. But is it one sided? Uh, like I said, he might not be. Uh, she might not be his type or who knows maybe she is i did do a reading on that um anyways i digress oh the cards are ready they don't want to shuffle anymore okay here we go who is marcus anderson Ooh, eight of pentacles she worked with him somebody she worked with absolutely this is a working relationship Absolutely. So, you know, did he get her bookings on a yacht? Allegedly. Did he get her bookings through Soho House? Allegedly. Um, but the picture he painted of her was not really her. I love this card for this Eight of Pentacles. See, he's not painting what he's seeing. So the picture he was painting for someone else was different than what she was really like. I'll leave that there. Let's see. Nine of Cups. Oh, they're they were party buddies. They were party buddies. Um, they they drank a lot. Well, that's Soho House, though, isn't it? Drinking a lot. Um wish this is also wishes not coming true. So let's see what it is. Five of Pentacles. You know what? I think he thought he would make more money off of her. I honestly do. Because he painted this picture of her. 
And maybe it turned out she drank a little bit too much or got too much into other things that Lady C implies. And I don't think he got as much out of her as he wanted. Um, Because this is five of pentacles is money out of reach. You know, was, was, what's going on here? Six of swords. Moving on, moving on. Four of cups. Regrets. Isn't this interesting? I think he regrets ever getting tangled up with her. I don't think it's as cozy as we think it is. I think he saw her for what she was, not what he portrayed her to be. Here she is. Look at this. And this one is, is nude. Well, what do you do nude other than sunbathe in a tanning bed? He's painting this portrait of her. And it turns out that's not what she wanted. She was like at all. She was more of a party girl. And so he moved on. And I think he regrets because it, he's actually, I think, lost money with her. He hasn't made any money with her. He actually f is lost with her. And I think, so you think about it. Soho House is in the city all the time. Now, I've done readings on her. And I don't think she's ever had a baby. Yet this one holds a baby. So is this Marcus Anderson kind of kicking her out of the Soho house? But she's got something on him. She's got something on him. I don't think this, this relationship is cozy as, as what's made out. Justice. That's why I love doing this cards when it comes to Meghan Markle. Because the justice card on this is black woman power. Not that there's anything wrong with it. I'm just, this is, you know, her her racism. She likes to burn shit down. Um, what does she have on him? Is she going to start calling him a racist because he kicked her out or didn't get her, you know, some of the work that she wanted? It wasn't her. It was her drinking or her, this is a really gossipy. This is really chatty and gossipy and, and, uh, catty a little bit, just a little bit, teeny weensy bit. King of swords. Something legal happened. Something legal happened that cost him money. A king of swords is a lawyer um the truth um it's this is a prince william don't uh, it's not oh six of wands on top of the six of swords so we got double sixes here yeah you know what she wasn't all that in a bag of chips he thought she was because she's a great salesperson she's a great manipulator she's a great selling herself and you know she's like a, a cat that, you know, comes and purrs on you and, and uh, is around your, your legs and pretend your friend, but really wants something else, like wants to be fed. I, I like cat. That's what I'm just saying. Like they can be a little bit manipulative like that. They can pretend they like you just because they want to be fed to remind you it's, it's feeding time. And then after you feed them off, they go again. <laughs> um, I think she was a little bit like that. Something legal happened. Something legal happened that cost him a lot of money that um, something legal, because we have it right beside the justice card too. And it, and he wasn't successful. He wasn't successful. It actually cost him a lot of money. Something legal happened. What happened to a swords? He really was, He's not as, as good a friend as, as she makes it out. Don't trust the pictures. He has not made up his mind about her. Um, I don't see any love cards here. I think she is more into him than he is into her. Um, something happened here. A big no. A big no. Something happened. Somebody sued him about something regarding her. You know, did she get drunk and not fulfill her job role and it made him question everything about her two of cups wow this is interesting we have two twos here and they're two completely different you know what i just got it he wanted to get rid of her so he introduced her to harry that was that he introduced her to harry he didn't want anything more to do with her. So he's like, here, here's the Rick's mixed race couple. 
And she does wear the pants in that, in that relationship. That's, we nailed it. Marcus didn't want anything else to do with her. He regretted ever miss, uh, getting tangled up with her. He knew she wasn't what she was portrayed. He got into some kind of legal entanglement with her. Um, I think he lost some money because of her, like maybe a customer or a customer, a um, director <laughs> who hired her for a, got to be careful here, for a project or a show or a line. Um, something happened. Something really went sideways on it. And uh, to to help him recover from this, he introduced her to Harry. He introduced her to Harry. Now, was it something that Megan had on Marcus and said, if you, if you don't introduce me to Harry, I don't think, I think I'm reaching there. I think I'm reaching there. Wands, yep. And that resulted in a wedding. And that resulted in a wedding. Oh, my God. Oh, seven of swords in reverse. Oh, yeah. This was a sneaky setup. This was um, taking what's not yours, uh, stealing, um, it's shadowy work. For sure, opening the vault of money. Oh, ten of wands, getting rid of a burden. He, for some reason, Megan is a burden to him for some reason. So there was some wrangling going on to get Harry to meet her. Something there's lies and there, there have been proven many times lies about how for her to meet Harry to result in this wedding. They planned on her marrying Harry. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it was for him to get rid of the burden of her. Yeah. Secret, secret. That, that I think that secret will be revealed at some point. The high priestess's secret. Queen of Cups. There's Diana in reverse. This card even looks like Diana, even though I call her the star card because she's up in the in the stars right now. Um, it's the secrets about Camilla. Is that how they they wrangled this a little bit? Knight of Cups in reverse again. That showed up right from the start. He introduced her to Harry so he could exit the scene. So he could exit the scene. So what the hell was he doing? Um, what the hell was he doing in those pictures? And he looked awful. He looked terrible, to tell you the truth. Like he's aged 10 years. Um, I just got it. They hooked in. It, it was their secret. They hooked in Harry by using things of Diana. And that's a documented fact. She went out and bought Diana's perfume. Creepy, really creepy. I do not want to smell like my my husband's mother. I'll tell you that right now. I don't care what she smells like. I do not want to smell like my husband's mother. To me, that is really weird. But they use Diana's memory, Diana's image to hook Harry in. I think Marcus might have known enough about Harry because they were friends in London about what that about his mother. I because this card even looks like Diana. I mean, look, she was very tall and slender and, and wore clothes like that with her blonde hair. And in reverse, they used Diana's memory. And then once Marcus got um, Harry hooked in and got them married, off he goes. He's like, I'm done with you. Absolutely done with you nastiness on the internet i think they are not as close as as you think they are they use each other for their own purposes absolutely absolutely i didn't get anything in here that harry was connected um to him but they did they didn't use honest ways and means they used um secrets they used uh, diana they used all different kind of hooks, and it was just to release the burden of her from Marcus. Um, he definitely wants out of the picture. He's not her her knight in shining armor at all, at all. Um, he knows, he knows the she, he knows what she's like. That's why he paints a different picture of her. Uh, it was totally a working relationship. 
I think because when we were shuffling, we did get the cups. I think she likes him more than he likes her. And, um, or maybe she loves him because of what he did. Uh, I'm just gonna, is there any kind of love relationship? Because we, I mean, have they hooked up? Let's just ask a yes, no. Have they hooked up? Have they hooked up? Have they, do they have a sexual relationship? Do Mar Does Marcus Anderson and Meghan Markle have a sexual relationship? Gossip, 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 gossip. Does Marcus Anderson and Meghan Markle have a sexual relationship? I'm just going to do a yes, no reading. Upright is yes. Reversals are no. Have they in the past or do they currently have a sexual relationship? And that might answer some other questions too, right? Cards are ready. Oh, that was a definite cut. Uh, we have, oh, <laughs> um, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Hanged Man in reverse, the Swords in reverse, Wands in reverse. <laughs> so I think we're getting our answer. Page of Pentacles upright, Swords in reverse, and Ten of Wands upright. We only have, no, they do not. What's the underlying? The magician, no, 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 no. That what you see is all an illusion. It's all a trickery. It's, it's, um, no, they just have a working relationship. Uh, there's the, the page of pentacles, the selling, right? Just look at, look at, I'm selling you this, this beautiful woman. Um, it was a working relationship and it was a burden, it was a burden. It was burdensome. Um, he's He broke free, definitely. The hangman broke free from that relationship. Um, they tried to make some money together. It really didn't go as planned because we also have, when we have this, um, the the four of wands in reverse, It's it, that's not a celebration. That's a dis, delusion. Like dissolution. I'm talking too fast. Um that's a divorce or a funeral when four of wands shows up in reverse. Uh, no, he broke free of, of this. He broke free. Um, they just made a decision because two of swords in reverse is you finally made a decision. You're not being stubborn yet. Let's go ahead and try and make some money. Just really didn't work out the way that they planned. So he had to find a way to break free of this. And uh, he, he did it. So whatever you see of them, you know, so close and, and all of that. It's garbage, 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 garbage. This also tells me that um, he wasn't sexually interested in her either at all. It was a working relationship. Um, I'm not saying what he is. I'm just saying they did not. They did not know. They've never had a, a sexual relationship. And that's interesting because on the friendship, it was just a courtship card. It's way different than the lover's card that showed up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to yesterday's anniversary special I did. So that would be courtship. So, you know, they look, they like to look like they're a couple, um, but no, they aren't. So that's that on Marcus. I hope that answered some questions about him um, and cleared a few things up. It did for me. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody else who's questioning Marcus Anderson, please share it with them. Uh, thank you so very much for, your, for all your subscribes, your likes, your comments. I'm honestly blown away uh, by the reception I have. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you all so much. Um, my heart is open and filled with joy. I've got the Ace of Cups going everywhere. <laughs> Thanks so much. Take good care. Bye for now.